this video is a brief examination of an assortment of cases of cryptids that have been cited across the United States. We leave it up to the viewer to decide for themselves if these creatures are indeed real or imaginary. Vampires, zombies, werewolves. These are the monsters who strike fear into the hearts of children. They're the same ones that parents chase away and try to reassure their kids that there's no such thing as monsters. Let's examine some alleged real monsters across America. Ever heard of the Dover Demon? For two days in 1977, the town of Dover, Massachusetts was under attack from a strange creature that seemed to have arrived from another world or dimension. The first encounter with this thing, nicknamed the Dover Demon, occurred on the evening of April 21st. A man named Bill Bartlett was out on a drive with some friends, and then they saw something strange climbing on a stone wall. The creature appeared to be only about three feet tall, but had a giant oversized head with large, glowing eyes. The rest of the body was tan and hairless, with long, thin arms and legs. Several hours later, the same creature was spotted by a 15-year-old named John Baxter who watched it scuttle up a hillside. The following day, a couple reported seeing this demon, as it was referred to as well. When authorities asked for description, the couples had a direct match to the ones given by other witnesses except for one difference. The creature the couple encountered appeared to have glowing orange eyes. Despite repeated attempts to locate it, this monster was never seen again. Momo. In the early 1970s, reports came flooding in of a strange creature roaming the woods near a small town in the state of Missouri, standing about seven feet tall. Momo, short for Missouri Monster, was completely covered in jet black fur. The first major report came in July 1971 when Joan Mills and Mary Ryan claimed to have been harassed by a half-ape, half-man creature that made terrifying noises at them as they passed it on Highway 79. Both women believed it would have harmed them if it had been given the chance. That seemed to be confirmed the following year. On July 11, 1972, brothers Terry and Wally Harrison spotted a giant hairy beast carrying a dead dog. The boys screamed, alerting the family members who caught a glimpse of the creature before it disappeared into the woods. Sightings continued for a couple of weeks, but Momo hasn't been seen since. The Lawndale Thunderbird. If you're ever in Lawndale, Illinois, keep a keen eye open for gargantuan birds lest they sneak up on you and snatch you away. That's what happened in 1977 when Lawndale residents noticed two monster-sized birds with equally massive-sized wingspans encircling them in the sky overhead. The birds, though enormous, seemed harmless enough. That is, until they swooped down and one of them reportedly tried to take off with 10-year-old Marlon Lowe while he played in his yard. The boy was not seriously injured, but the Thunderbird did manage to lift him several feet off the ground and carry him for nearly 40 feet before dropping him to a thud back to Earth. Over the next few weeks, the birds were seen flying over various houses and fields in nearby towns, but thankfully they didn't clutch anyone else in their fearsome talons. And though they appeared to have left Lawndale for good, reports of these gigantic winged creatures continue to be reported across the U.S. The Goat Man. Do you think that goats are cute and fuzzy little creatures? Well, if so, a trip through Prince George's County in Maryland might just change your mind. Since the 1950s, people have reported horrifying encounters with a creature known only as the Goat Man. From afar, many claim to have mistaken the Goat Man for a human being, but as he approaches near, his cloven hooves become visible, as do the horns growing out of his head. Now, if that's not enough to make you shriek in terror, reports as recent as 2016 state that the Goat Man now carries an axe with him. The Florida Gator Men The swamplands of Florida are filled with alligators, but most of them don't have human attributes. Since the 1700s, tales of strange half-man, half-alligator creatures have circulated throughout the area. Gator Men are described as having human-like features at the same time having the midsection, back legs, and tail of an alligator. 
Unlike other creatures, Gatormen reportedly run in packs and hunt together and also have developed their own verbal language to communicate with each other. What's more, recent sightings have them traveling outside of the state of Florida and taking up residence in swamplands of Louisiana and swimming around in Texas. The Florida Skunk Ape since the 1960s, a creature has been spotted in the Florida Everglades that many call Bigfoot's horribly smelling cousin, the skunk ape. This beast is said to closely resemble Bigfoot with one minor difference, it smells like rotten eggs. In late 2000, Sarasota police received an anonymous letter from a woman who complained that an escaped animal was roaming near her home at night. Included with the letter were two close-up photos of a large beast that resembled an orangutan standing behind some palmetto fronds, gnashing its teeth at her. The horror of Scape or Swamp, the Lizard Man. At around 2 a.m. on June 29, 1988, Christopher Davis got a flat tire on a dark back road near the Scape or Swamp in South Carolina. Just as the teenager finished changing the tire, he was suddenly attacked by a seven-foot-tall creature with scaly green skin and razor-sharp teeth. Davis was able to get back into his vehicle and speed away, but not before the lizard man managed to climb onto the roof and claw at it trying to get inside. As the horrified teen drove, he could see that this beast had three claws on each of its hands. Eventually, the creature fell from the car and Davis was able to escape. The creature is yet to be captured or categorized. The Devil Monkeys Far and away, some of the strangest creatures said to be roaming the countryside are devil monkeys. Now, take an adult kangaroo, stick a monkey or baboon head on top of it, and you've got yourself a devil monkey. By most accounts, these creatures can cover hundreds of feet in just a few quick hops, and they're nothing to tangle with either. Although devil monkeys have traditionally stuck to attacking livestock and the occasional family pet, some reports have them attempting to claw their way into people's homes. Originally spotted in Virginia in the 1950s, devil monkeys have now been spotted all across the United States. On a related note, in May 2001, residents of New Delhi, India were sent into a panic when a four-foot-tall, half-monkey, half-human creature began attacking them as they slept. The Mothman of Point Pleasant. On November 12, 1966, five men who were digging a grave at a cemetery near Clinton in West Virginia claimed to have seen a man-like figure fly low from the trees over their heads. This is often identified as the first known sighting of what became known as the Mothman. Shortly thereafter, on November 15, 1966, Two young couples from Point Pleasant, Roger and Linda Scarberry, and Steve and Mary Mallet, told police they saw a large gray creature whose eyes glowed red when the car's headlights picked it up. They described it as a large flying man with 10-foot wings following their car while they were driving in an area outside of town known as the TNT area, the site of a former World War II munitions plant. During the next few days, other people reported similar sightings. Two volunteer firemen who saw it said it was a large bird with red eyes. Mason County Sheriff George Johnson commented that he believed the sightings were due to an unusually large heron he termed Shypoke. Contractor Newell Partridge told Johnson that when he aimed a flashlight at a creature in a nearby field, its eyes glowed like bicycle reflectors and blamed buzzing noises from his television set and the disappearance of his German Shepherd dog on the creature. Wildlife biologist Dr. Robert L. Smith at West Virginia University told reporters that descriptions and sightings all fit the Sand Hill Crane, a large American crane, almost as high as a man, with a seven-foot wingspan featuring circles of reddish coloring around the eyes, and that the bird may have wandered out of its migration route. This particular crane was unrecognized at first because it was not native to this region. After the December 15, 1967 collapse of the Silver Bridge and the death of 46 people, the incident gave rise to the legend and connected the Mothman sightings to the bridge collapse. The Mothman Prophecies in 2002 is a major motion picture loosely based on the 1975 book by the same name by John Keel. According to Georgian newspaper Svadbanaya Gruzia, Russian ufologists claimed that Mothman sightings in Moscow foreshadowed the 1999 Russian apartment bombings. 
In 2016, WCHS-TV published a photo purported to be of the Mothman taken by an anonymous man while driving on Route 2. Science writer Sharon A. Hill proposed that the photo showed a bird, perhaps an owl, carrying a frog or snake away, and wrote that there is zero reason to suspect it is the Mothman as described in legend. There are too many far more reasonable explanations. So there you have it. Do you believe in these monsters? Do you think that they exist? Or are they mass hallucinations or figments of the imagination? The choice is yours to decide.